Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing and today I'm predicting the David Adelaide fight, um, the Queen's uh, Brie show on Friday, uh, live on BT Sport, Frank Warren show, uh, it's got a packed card, so first of all we've got Ben Fall, who's 2-0 v Bartos Glowacki, Ben Fall 2-0, one knockout, uh, he's coming off a knockout win, in that in his last fight in March on the Heaney undercard against Ilchu Palachos, the round six knockout, and he's also beaten the Camden care caretaker Robbie Chapman. Of course, Bartos, we saw him last out against George G Force Davy. To be honest, it he Bartos looked like he was gassing against Davy. Again, this is six rounds. Ben's got, in my opinion, he's got more power than George Davy. George Davy's more slick, more picks his shots well. But Ben, very good fighter, very good fighter. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets him out of there. Bartos, of course, try be durable. Try he he did well at surviving that fight. I think he knows his way around the ring pretty well, as we've seen. But um, for that fight, I'm gonna go Ben for L. Um, actually. I'm going to go Ben Fair round four stoppage. I think he'll get him out of there. I think he carries that power. George Davy not known for being a power hitter, but he nearly got him out of there. Ben more known for his power, but I'd like to see that fight in the future because George is a slick boxer. Ben carries a bit of power, but yeah, I reckon Ben will get him out of there. Ooh, then we've got a cruiserweight action. Tommy Fletcher, of course, He's 4 and 0 with three knockouts. Um, yeah, knockout artist against Powell Sjoski, who his rival crews like Alloys Jr. knocked out in that round two. Let's see. Tommy can get him out of there. Um, I believe he will. But Powell's been in there with pretty much all the, the cruiserweights domestically. Um but I am saying a Tommy Frank round two knockout. Um, yeah, I'm saying Tommy Frank knockout. Then you've got Joshua Frankham, 7-0, one knockout against Iltru Palachos. Eight wins, 67 defeats, five draws. And uh, yeah, I'm saying um, Joshua Frankham, 60-54 on this one. Then you've got Royston Barney Smith uh, against Christian Lopez Flores. Barney Smith, 5 0, oh, three knockouts. All three of his last fights have come by way of knockout. He's looking very good and he showed he could box in his first two fights as well. And then you've got Christian Flores, who's durable. He comes for a little tear up, I reckon. He'll... Well, I think Royston's had three first round knockouts. Against the uh, Paul Holt, Lester Lara, um, can't remember the other one, but first round knockouts galore. Will he get a first round knockout here? Yes, I. Actually, Flores is durable, very durable. Uh, I'll I'll say um. Barney Smith, round two, actually. I'll say Barney Smith, round two. He won't blow him out straight away. But I reckon round two for Royston Barney Smith. Then you got Carl Fail against Frank uh, Mar Mar Madsen. Uh, Carl Fail, of course, 8-0 and against Madsen, who's 7-5. and So, big step up for Carl Fail. Madison, uh, Madsen, of course, he'll come for a tear-up. As well, it's an eight round fight. Uh, Carl, it would be good to see how this will plan out for Carl Fell. Uh, first real test, of course. Carl's good, very good fighter. Uh, yeah, and um, I reckon yeah, Carl Fell uh, on on points, um, fairly comfortable. I reckon um, seventy nine to seventy three. So I'll take. I think Madsen will get around. Just you know. But yeah, and then you've got this one. You've got Ezra Taylor, who is looking amazing at the minute. He carries power in those fists. 
He had Cali Grand La ten and ten with four draws. He he's not a journeyman. He comes to win like he did when he fought Carroll or Tuma. I thought Carroll would stop him. He did not stop him, but Carroll did look fair fairly decent in that fight. And um yeah, he looked he looked fairly decent. And um Ezra Taylor though, coming off big knockout wins. Uh this one again I'm gonna predict a knockout shock horror. And I'm gonna say Ezra Taylor. I reckon mm, I reckon he'll try and get some rounds in, then try to take him out. So I'm gonna say Ezra Taylor round six. So I think he'll, I'll, I think he'll take a few rounds. I think he'll be winning those rounds fairly comfortable. But Grander will come try put it on him. But no, I, I reckon Ezra Taylor will get a few rounds in, and then wipe, then wipe him out in round six. I reckon. Then you got Henry Turner, v Tom Farrell. I wanted to see this fight. It's finally happening for the WBC International Silver Super Lightweight title. Tom, of course, been around for quite a while with 21 wins, six defeats. Henry Turner, of course, unbeaten and the Queen's Brie fighter. He's 10 and 0. Henry Turner's looking very strong. Uh, Tom Farrell coming off a defeat to um Harlem Eubank. Uh, but he did he did put up a good fight. He had Harlem hurt in that fight. Don't forget he had hurt Harlem Eubank hurt. It was he he put Harlem on Harlem. Sorry, he made Harlem wobble on his feet. Wouldn't he nearly had him out there? Nearly put up a great fight against the uh, Harlem Eubank. But unfortunately for him, he lost on points. But Henry Turner coming off a big win. I think this is his first defence. It'll be a brilliant fight, in my opinion. It'll be an absolute, yeah, it'll just be a great fight. I can see Tom trying to come out. I think Tom will try and start put it on him quite quickly. I think Turner will be more patient. And, um, yeah, I do. Wouldn't surprise me if it went anyway. Because will Tom's experience play in to his hands? Will the pressure get to Turner? About like it's his, in my opinion, his first very like solid test against Tom Farrell. I mean, his last opponent was pretty good, but Tom Farrell, hardest opponent yet, always comes forward, always loves a good tear up. And will Farrell make it into his fight, or will Henry stick to his boxing? And get the job done. Tom's gonna try and make it a dog fight. You can just see it. And um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna say split decision. Um to Turner. To Turner. I'm gonna say Henry Turner split. But to be to be honest, um I reckon Tom will start strong first four rounds, then Turner will come into it, in my opinion. But yeah, this is interesting. I think Tom needs to take him out in the first five. If he doesn't, I think it could play into Henry's hands. I don't I don't think Henry's been that distant though. So maybe that plays into Tom's hands. So but in my opinion, I think Tom needs a quick start. And if you don't get him out there in five, I reckon he'll go to Turner. But good luck at both boxers. I like both boxers and it's gonna be a great fight. Then you've got Mark Chamberlain, 12 and 0, 8 knockouts. The Marvelin Damari for the 10 rounds uh, IBF European lightweight title. In my opinion, Mark Chamberlain's a very good fighter. Very, very good. Knockouts. Uh, he he has he carries power in his hands. Um it's about time before he starts going into that British domestic scene fighting the likes of Sam Oates, Gavin Gwynn, uh, Ronnie uh Reese Mole, just the likes of anyone really at that sort of level. Uh, because that, that division stacked at the minute, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, Marvin coming on with 12 wins, four defeats. I reckon it'll be very hard to stop. I reckon I reckon Mark would get these rounds in, to be honest. And I I I'm to be honest, I I'm I'm gonna say Mark Chamberlain, um, 
I'm going to say Mark Chamberlain unanimous decision in my in my opinion. For Marvin would be tough. I reckon Mark Chamberlain will win pretty much every round on every scorecard. Maybe Marvin will nick the odd one, but I reckon Mark Chamberlain should get the job done and uh, move on to big. I think this is his first defense, so it'll be good for him to get the round. Uh, the no, this is his second defense. This will be good for him to get the rounds in. Yes. This is his second defence. Because, of course, he won it against Mark Vidal. And then he... <clears throat> and then um, he beat Let uh, that Letty. Brutal knockout. But, yeah, I do believe he'll beat Marvin. Um, and he'll go to 13 and Omar Chamberlain on unanimous decision. Then you've got the main event of the evening. Sweet Caroline. And then... Yeah, so you've got David Adelaide, 11 and 0. He's looking strong. Brutal knockouts. Of course, had that one arguable defeat to Sokolowski. But yeah, that's a different story. People will mention that every time he has a fight. But um, he's fighting Emar Atmochiv. I think I said that right. But yeah, Elmar Mokchiv, I'll just call him Elmar. Um, twelve and one, only lost to Hergovic. He did get stopped by Hergovic in round three. Um, but yes, um, he he's durable. Whether I think David Ad, is he another padded record for Adelaide? Of course, the whole British title pitch scene scenario with. Like the likes of David, um, not David, I'm like, uh, Fabio Wardley and Clark getting ordered for that. Is that is that annoying, Adelaide? I don't, I don't think it's getting to him. I, I reckon he should, he'll stop this guy. I reckon he'll eventually get to him. I'm, I'm going to say a round five knockout for David Adelaide. And, uh, yo, yeah, they're my predictions for the Frank Warren show this week. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.